Hey everybody, so there are going to be people that probably say it's too early to do this, but I'm ready to do it. There are four teams in the NHL right now that I can say your season's over. Kiss the playoffs goodbye, you're done, you're not making it. Um, even though we're, we're, I mean, well, we're like, we're more than ten games in now. That is a decent chunk of the season gone. Um, these these teams aren't making the playoffs, and I'm pretty safe. I feel pretty safe calling that right now. No, first one, obvious, Arizona. Um, Arizona, they're 0 10 and one right now. Um, you don't come back from this. This is atrocious. This is that sh shows the need for major changes. This shows a bad roster all around and this shows you have zero shot at the playoffs um they don't i mean take even take that record away they don't have the roster to make the playoffs now add this record in through 11 games i mean you've just thrown away 11 out of 82 games um no team ha i don't i don't yeah i'm pretty sure no team has ever come back from a start like this to ever make the playoffs um if you start off like 0 and 5, 0 and 6, something like that, you still have a chance. 0 10 and 1, that's just not gonna. They're they're done. Their season's over already. Um, they would need to win. They would need to win 10 straight games just to get back to 500. How how absurd is that? They're not gonna win 10 straight games. And now even that would just get them back to 500. 500 does not make the playoffs in the NHL. So that they're done. Next up, Montreal, and a lot of people are going to be saying it's too early to count them out. They have Carey Price. No, nope, they're they're done. They they don't have they don't have the scoring up front. They don't have the defense as a core. I mean, you look at their D. Their defense as a group is below average. Shea Weber is is fine. He's good, but the, them as a group of six, the six who play every night, that they're they're not good. They're below average. Their their defense is very poor, and they can't score. And what they they pull they've had a couple five goal games here, but they can't consistently put the puck in the net. And their star players can't consistently put the puck in the net. They're at three seven and one now. Um, I I don't see them coming back. I I mean I think they can get back to five hundred. They would need to win four in a row just to do that. I think they can get back to five hundred, but five hundred doesn't make the playoffs in the NHL, and it's not going to this year. It it's just not it's not good enough. Next up, Buffalo. Buffalo, your season's done. I know a lot of people came into this season thinking Buffalo could was ready to take that next step forward and show some improvement and be better than a bottom feeding team. That they don't have the goaltending, they don't have the team defense, and honestly, they don't have the depth up front. That they're, they're very reliant on a few players to score a lot of goals. And three seven and two, I. A star, I, I mean, I think Buffalo would struggle to make the playoffs if they started the season seven three and two. So for them to start like this, I, it's they're done. And finally, this is this was the one I grappled with the most. It's tough to it's tough to make this decision on this team already, especially because of what this team was supposed to be. But the New York Rangers, I'm I'm gonna say they're done. Um, I think Vigneault gets fired. I think he gets fired pretty quickly. Um, I would be surprised if Elaine Vigneault is still a Rangers coach by Thanksgiving. It, unless they really go on some sort of run here and rip off a bunch in a row. But they just lost to Montreal 5-4. to four. Um, I've seen no signs from, of improvement from this team. I think Lundqvist is getting old and not the goal, not even close to the goalie that he used to be. Um, a lot of their their retooled defense has not worked out the way that they had hoped. They've got limited depth up front. 
there I just I mean guys like Chris Kreider and JT Miller are not producing at the level that they need to be really their whole offense isn't producing at the level they need to be with the exception of Mika Zibanejad who's been pretty good this year he's really been the only one up front that's had a good year um, I just I think they're done I'm, I'm gonna call it I think they're done I don't think they recover from this I think they certainly can change coaches and maybe get that you know new coach new coach jolt that we saw a lot of teams get last year I don't think that that jolts enough to make them a playoff team at this point um, I think they've dug themselves a deep hole and they're down in the standings with with Montreal and Buffalo and if you're that far down in the standings I think you're in big trouble um, now we're we're just past the 10 game mark now for a lot of teams. Um, I think the next the next real benchmark is the 25 games. What if you're still bottom feeding at the 25 game mark? You're you're really done. I think by Thanksgiving, maybe a little after, I will be able to add a few more teams to this list. But right now. These are the four teams that I think are absolutely done. Arizona, Montreal, Buffalo, and New York. I think the seasons are over. They can pack it in, start trading players. You're not coming back from, from your record right now. I mean, teams like... A team like New York was tough to put on this list because they could easily win four straight and be back to 500, and then it's basically the start of a new season, just a shorter one. But I, I don't think they have a roster to do it. Their, their, de their defense hasn't gelled at all with the new additions. Their, um, their goaltending hasn't been great, and they're, str they're struggling up front with for getting offense from a lot of players that they need to get offense from. I just, 3-7-2, and two, it, I don't see it happening. So, I'm, I'm calling it now, though, those team seasons are done. You can disagree, you can say it's too early, that's fine. I'm just, I'm calling it now, and when, when playoff time comes around, we'll see if I was wrong about any of them. Maybe... Maybe Vigneault gets fired, New York wins, you know, six or seven in a row, and next thing you know, they're in a wild card spot. So, that's just what I think, but I'm, I'm pre pretty sure that th none of those teams will be a playoff team this year. So, like, comment, share, subscribe, spread the word, please, we want this channel to grow. Tell your friends, family, anyone who like you know that likes hockey, tell them about this channel, tell them to subscribe, subscribe yourselves if you haven't. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon.